two-dimensional and three-dimensional. What's the difference? Well, it's in their names. Two and three-dimensional objects. There's two dimensions involved in two-dimensional objects. Three and three-dimensional. So if we're taking a look over here, we need to go ahead and make sure that we understand that two-dimensional objects are flat. They only have a base and a height, or a length and a width, whichever way you want to say it. Three-dimensional objects have a third dimension. So we have a base and a height, but we also have depth. So for example, this could be a two-dimensional object. That's a square. And something along the lines of this would be a three-dimensional object. Let's hope that I can draw. Something along the lines of this. Just like that. There we go. Hopefully that's not too bad. But yeah, that would be a three-dimensional object because it has depth. So moving in. In 3D objects, there's two main types of three-dimensional objects that you'll need to know about. And those are prisms and pyramids. All right? So let's just go ahead and begin with prisms. What a prism is, is a prism is a 3D object with congruent bases. And it has two bases. So we're going to go ahead and go through a couple of examples. When we're naming prisms, it's important to know that we name them by their face. So for example, let me go ahead and just draw what the inside of this would look like. So there you go. This is a triangular prism because it has a face in the back and the front that are triangular. So two bases with faces. So these are the bases, front and back. And this right here would be the face. Underneath you have one face. And over here on this side you have another face. Again, two bases, lateral faces. Two bases, lateral faces. And I'm just getting technical with this though. But this would be a triangular prism because the bases are triangles. This would be a rectangular prism because the faces are rectangles. Yes, it looks like a square. We can call it a square prism. But remember, when we're discussing squares, squares are rectangles. They're just a special form of them. So this we would call this a rectangular prism. This we would call a pentagonal prism. Something along the lines of this. I hope I didn't botch that. Something along those lines. Then we can have a hexagonal prism. This would be an octagonal prism. And I believe this would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that'd be a decagonal prism. But again, we name the prism according to its bases. Over here, this is a cylinder. This is a basically a prism where the faces are circles. All right, and so we would call that a cylinder. So a cylinder is kind of like a prism that has two bases that are circles. So moving on right along here, giving us more examples. Triangular prism, if we're looking at them vertically, so top to bottom, again, triangles. Th those are the bases. And then it has rectangular faces. All of these have rectangular faces. Rectangles, 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 rectangles. All of the faces are rectangles. So again, it's important for us to write down that the faces are rectangles when we're discussing prisms. Now, when we're discussing pyramids, though, they're a little different. Instead of having two bases, they have one base because all of the faces will meet at one point. So notice that all of the lateral faces here meet at one point. So one base, that's a big piece of information that we're going to want to know. Also, the faces, the lateral faces, are all triangles. Notice there, triangle, triangle, triangle. Could be a square, rectangular, or triangular pyramid. Doesn't matter. All of the faces are triangles. So faces are triangles. But remember, we're still naming the pyramid according to its base. So this would be a square pyramid. A square pyramid. This would be a rectangular pyramid. Whoops, watch that spelling, rectangular pyramid. And then we have a triangular pyramid. Euler pyramid, there we go. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little exercise here. Let's go ahead and try to compare prisms and pyramids. So go ahead and pause the video. That way you can try to go ahead and give it a shot and compare or contrast them. So let's go and get right to it. When we're dealing with pyramids and prisms, when we're comparing them, remember, prisms have two bases, 
and a pyramid only has one base. Well, what's similar about them though is that their bases name the object. So named via the base. So again, if the base of a prism is a rectangle, then it would be a rectangular prism. If the base is a octagon, it'd be an octagonal prism, and so forth. Same thing with pyramids. If the base is a square, it'd be a square pyramid. If the base is a pentagon, it'd be a pentagonal pyramid. So, up next, what else? So, remember, prisms have rectangular faces. Rectangular faces. And pyramids have triangular faces. All right. Um, and then remember, they're both uh, three-dimensional objects as a whole. But that's pretty much it in terms of comparing them and identifying simple 3D objects. So moving right along here, we're going to go ahead and move into our last 3D version of a circle now. So this is called a sphere. And essentially, it's just a, a circle in 3D form. So if you had a circle and you rotated it really, really, really fast, it would look something like this, like a sphere. It's just a ball. Think about a, uh, any ball that you can think of. And there you go. So we won't get into the surface area or the volume because that won't be asked in this skill. 